Greetings, Believe in Dwellership with the Mars here. Welcome back to another video. We're going to be playing some more dra uh, Dragon Commander. Um, if you guys are liking it, leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, share it with your friends and family, leave a comment down below. Let's hop right into the action. And we're back. Am I too small? Increase the size just a tad. Okay, I think we're golden. Alright. Let's get right to it. If you if if you can recall, we were really struggling with these guys. Oh, wow. I have no gold. Oh, our favorite with the undead is low. And the dwarves. Low. Okay, we're gonna actually build a tavern. Um, and we're out of gold again. So what we're doing right now is we're building up our army here so we can start invading these guys. Oh, they're fortifying. Look at that. Ooh, they're bearing down on us. So, they got 6, 11, 14 peeps right in here. And 2, 12... I uh, still don't like our odds, so I'm going to keep going. Uh, we're going to get one of these and one of these. We're going to go ahead and build us one of these. One of these. Alright. We are slowly but surely building our armies up. I'm gonna send some peeps over. They don't have any transports, right? They don't. Okay, good. Alright. We're gonna move those guys up there. 
We're gonna buy some units. Refortify this. And buy some of these. Alright! I'm continuing to build and build and build. Okay, I think I'm ready to make an assault. Seven. Thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Compared to my troops. Uh, I'm gonna keep building. I'm gonna keep building. Build my art. <gasps> Are you for real? Are you for real? Gee, that hurt. Or seven. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There, there's fourteen there. Eighteen. Thirty. Roughly thirty. Twenty. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Let's go ahead and purchase our troops, though. Should we attack? Let's wait one more turn. Are you serious? Alright, let's go check the engineering bay. See if we can upgrade anything. Uh, yes we can. Okay, we're out. That should upgrade the power of our troops tremendously. Tremendously. Should I go for it? There's only four hunters here. Two, two, two. And one each. Oh, man! Oh. They're slowly trying to... We're also getting mercenary cards because of the one building that I did. Go ahead. Save that. Alright. We're also slowly, slowly building up some mercenary cards, which will help us overwhelm them. 
Okay, everybody's at six, so we're gonna start from the top now. Uh, you guys. And I'm out. Okay. Ah! <gasps> Stop taking my troops! Boom. Okay. Five, fifteen, nineteen. All right, we're gonna do it. We're gonna try to crush a lot of their troops right here, right now. But first, we need to move all these guys. All right. Move some troops around. And now we're going for it. We're going to annihilate the the majority of their army right here right now. The majority of their army will be in ruins. Took a beat in there, but we took out the majority of their armies. Um, bunch of their troops okay so they have 10 22 26 they have 26 troops seven hold on I gotta hold on First of all, let's go ahead and just buy some troops. Uh, let's put one point in there, one point in there. Let's go ahead and boost these guys up. Alright, that's all the gold we have. Now. I can build the wizard tower. Um, I honestly need to reinforce this with as much troops as I can. Seven troopers. 
one hunter. Okay, so all I need to do is take out their capital. And then this area, this entirety of this area belongs to me. But I'm scared about these guys here. They only sent three troops after us. Alright. They took out one of our troops. Okay. Alright. And we got some more mercenaries. Good. This is good. This is real good. Let's go back to the engineering base, see what's up. Uh, advanced. All right. There, we upgraded our guys even further. and purchase some units. About 30 troops. 16, 17, 18, 19, 24, 29. Okay. We're gonna make some. We're gonna make some plays here. Okay, guys. We're gonna make some plays. That's all of them. If we can take this middle piece here, that will secure, really secure us. Really get us a foothold, you know what I mean? Oh, uh, I just realized we're going to leave it undefended. move that up All right, we're going to take out the mo we're going to take out their army right here and now. This is the bulk of their army. This is the bulk of their army. Boom! Got him! <laughs> we just sniped him. Alright, we're gonna reinforce this area. Whew. And you know what? We're gonna take their capital now. We're gonna... 
put some troopers behind. We're gonna go ahead and take their capital now. They don't have that many troops left. That was the, that was their last defense. This is their capital. It's over if I take it, man. Oh man, they have eight troops down there though. I might have been too greedy. Alright, it's 50-50 right now. Fifty-two. Fifty-eight. Fifty-nine. Fifty-seven. Okay. Fifty-nine. That is the greatest odds we can get. And we did it. Alright. If I still have it by uh, the end of this round, we've conquered it. Alright guys, here we go. We're gonna bolster. We won. We won. We won. That's it. And so it came to pass that the Dragon Prince was initiated in the ways of war and caught the attention of his siblings. Whereas the Prince had been but a flea in his half-brother Carthan Axhan's coat, the Dread Decapitator now took full notice of what turned out to be a dragon, and so in turn did the others. Yes, it was in the heartland of Rivalon that the war would be decided between the last of Sigurd's children. Carthan remained a threat, as did his sister Sybil the Silent, who had cut out her own tongue a long time ago to stop the voices in her head from babbling. And then there was Faran the Fleshless, who was convinced he wasn't human at all, but rather an undead, which he would demonstrate by slicing the flesh from his body. Such was the crazed company the Dragon Prince would have to fight. Such were the terrors he would have to overcome. And the way he did so is still studied by all strategists in Rivalon today. Hell yeah! I have news for you, Commander. Great. Grave or gratifying, I'll leave its interpretation to you. The fact of the matter is, your victories have gone far from unnoticed. That much you knew. But they have also gone a long way toward uniting a shattered realm. Okay. It has therefore been announced that you are to marry, for that will bolster the populace's spirit and cement your power as emperor. Soon the finest princesses in the land will be here, bidding for your hand in marriage. I dare say it will, but do not please take this matter lightly, Commander. 
Of course, I hope your wife shall turn out to be a charming girl indeed. But this, above all, is a political bond, meant to strengthen the ties between you and the faction she belongs to. Love, I'm sorry to say, has very little to do with it. But of course, I may be proven wrong. Perhaps it is even best that I had. Not as such, no. You don't want to get married. Because that would be a bit of an imposition. The decision has been made, you see. Matters such as these, even an emperor has to accept without remonstrance. Still, there are worse things than tying the knot, surely. Very well, Commander. And while okay. you fantasize about pretty princesses, I'll continue my studies. Grumio may find his inspiration in dreams, but I'll stick to books, thank you very much. A wizard likes his nose between the pages rather than his head in the clouds. Okay. Henry has a spot of daughter trouble, has he? These teenage girls, they're all the same. Scarlet and Catherine actually want to abandon ship and rush to her rescue. Can you imagine? At least I have the sense of duty to remain here in the epicenter of your power, where generals are truly needed. Well, there's that. And the fact that I just can't be bothered. You punk. Alright, save game. All right, that's all the time we have for this. Um, so, uh, if you like the up, uh, if you like uh, like the video, leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, share it to friends and family, leave a comment down below. Catch you in the next video. Farewell, one another. Bye bye.